In this interesting question, given are these two red and green cords parallel to each other, and a third cord is drawn joining the opposite ends of these two cords. Using this data, we have to find the radius of circle. And the magical part is this question is exactly same as question number 150, whereby this green cord, instead of starting from the top end of the blue cord, it will start this green cord from the bottom end with same angle angle alpha then the figure of question number 150 will reduce down to figure of this particular question so it becomes an alternate solution for question number 150 and this magical alternate solution was proposed by jacob christian anderson from denmark thanks jacob for sharing such a wonderful solution This question will solve in two parts. First part will find the distance between these two parallel chords and then we will find the radius of the circle. So for that we will first draw a perpendicular bisector of chord AB and we know this AB and CD they are parallel and angle F and G they are alternate interior angles so this angle will be 90 degrees. Also perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through center of the circle and as it's perpendicular bisector so AF and FB will be 2 cm each and here CG and GD will be 1 cm each. At angle E these are vertically opposite angles so in triangle CGE and triangle BFE two angles are equal thus by angle angle similarity both the triangles are similar and thus ratio of sides will be equal. And ratio of side here is CG upon BF, this ratio is 1 is to 2. And thus we can say that this chord BC, it will also get divided into ratio 1 is to 2. And thus BE is 5 by 3 and EB is 2 times of 5 by 3 or 10 by 3 centimeter. And if we'll apply Pythagoras theorem, so in triangle CGE, if we we'll apply Pythagoras theorem, then the value of GE will be 4 by 3 and same by Pythagoras theorem in triangle BFE the value of EF that will be 8 by 3 centimeter and thus the distance between the chords that is GF is 4 by 3 plus 8 by 3 or 4 centimeter. So this is the first part of the question next part we will find the radius of the circle. To find the radius, let's join OB, this is radius of circle and OD, this is also radius of circle. Now here let's assume OF is Y centimeter. Now full length GF is 4 centimeter and thus GO will be 4 minus Y centimeter. Now in right angle triangle OFB, applying Pythagoras theorem, we get R square is Y square plus 2 square. Same way in triangle OGD, applying Pythagoras theorem, we'll get R square is 4 minus Y square plus 1 square. Now here in the second equation, we'll put the value of R square from the first equation to get our equation in this form. Now here both sides Y square will get cancelled down. Simplifying it, we'll get value of Y as 13 by 8 centimeter. Putting this value in our first equation, will get r square as 13 by 8 square plus 2 square solving it will get value of r as 5 root 17 by 8 centimeter and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the video i will see you in next video till then tata bye bye